Hello everyone and welcome to day two of the five days clean with me and today I am doing the kitchen and looks like the ants are back <laughs> it's not even winter is still not even over yet but yeah they're back it is not a lot of dishes it is just that they are scattered around the sink and making it look like it's a lot but yeah the dishes were not a lot and i'm also going to tackle that bin i really don't like taking out the bin it should actually be a male's job don't you guys think <laughs> it should be a guy's job you know to take out that bin but obviously somebody did not do that and also the microwave is looking a bit dirty it's not bad but yeah i'll be doing that as well and but before i do anything or start with the dishes i am in the room now just making up the bed in the mornings my daughter and i are always in a rush and so sometimes i just pull over the blankets i don't make up the bed and especially on days where i'm just gonna come back and climb back into bed but sometimes i pull the blankets off and just to air out the the mattress and the blankets or take them outside but this day i uh, yeah i came back and i wanted to clean the house and yeah so i wanted to just make up the bed first before i do all of those things however for the i will be cleaning the house the whole house but for the sake of the video and for this series i'm only sharing the part where i'm doing only the the kitchen so this video is only the kitchen but otherwise i cleaned the whole house on this day so i'm just doing the bed and then after that i'll go and finish off in the kitchen Thank you. 
I am now back in the kitchen to prep uh, prep these dishes and I don't know I'm the kind of person that likes to have everything uniform before I start cleaning so that I have like some sort of a direction and I don't feel overwhelmed with whatever I'm doing and so when it comes to dishes i like to put them like in sections you know bowls aside plates aside and utensils aside so that i feel i don't know more prepared for what i'm doing and i know exactly what's what needs to follow and all of that i'm that kind of person i don't know if you guys are also the same how do you deal with the whole cleaning anyway anyway last time remember i said you guys i hate people who don't take up their tea bags and just leave them in the cups and so i started just leaving people's cups and not washing them i think they listened they noticed that i don't like that and now look at that everything has been taken away and now i can wash the dishes in peace
minutes now most of the dishes have been done my plates um, utensils and the cups and all of that is done and now I'm left with these bowls like I said I like to section everything and also what I like to do is to do the pots last at the very last I did once try and do the pots uh, in the beginning but I find that because I need to use scra um, like the scrapes and the steel wools it makes the water dirty like really quickly and I have to change water and I don't like to change water all the time and so I like to do the pots at the last stage uh, which is what I'm left with now anyway to do the, the pots and also the other thing is I like to rinse out the dishes before I wash them that's so that the water is not dirty very quickly and also that I don't touch like food <laughs> in between the water when I'm washing the dishes because that can get like kind of disgusting um i don't know just guys in the comment section let me know what 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 things you don't dis uh, you dislike about you know when you're washing dishes and all of that but otherwise yeah i am almost done and i'm just gonna put the rest of the dishes that i've already washed away in the cupboard and then i'll finish off with these pots right so the dishes are done and I noticed 
uh, whilst I was finishing off with these dishes that the windowsill need some attention because it was looking looking really disgusting and as you can see outside also I did a little bit of laundry there's laundry out there drying out so I'm gonna take out this windowsill As you can see, the cloth is really dirty. Um, and it, the windowsill was just really, really sticky and dusty as well. And I'm guessing I'm gonna have to do a lot of this during the month of August because of the dust. And I'm not gonna clean it. And as you can see, I'm dropping, I'm dropping it in the bin. I'm not gonna clean that. No ways. It must just go and i went to the other side now to get the microfiber cloth and the kitchen cleaner uh, because i just wanna finish off this windowsill and uh, polish it sort of like make it nice and shiny with uh, with the kitchen cleaner and the microfiber cloth so that's where i went to go and get those things and uh, yeah I'm just going to finish off with the windowsill using this product. So now I am obviously mopping the floors. <laughs> As I've mentioned, I was cleaning the whole house today and doing laundry and all of that. But for the sake of the video and for the five days of clean with me, I just showed the kitchen. How So earlier on, I did a sweep the whole house. Um, and I just finished obviously mopping the other areas of the house and now I'm finish, finishing off here in the kitchen and just mopping and then the last thing I will do is to clear out that bin because it's still full so I'm going to clear out as soon as it is dry in the kitchen I'll come back and I will take it out throw out the trash and then put in a new or fresh um what is this thing black bag and that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in another video bye